the chicken tetrazzini. You're going to need 8 ounces of cooked spaghetti, 2 cups of sliced mushroom, 1 fourth cup butter, you're going to need a tablespoon of fresh parsley chopped, 1 fourth cup half and half, 2 to 3 cups of ch cooked chicken cubed, some chicken stock or broth, sherry or you could substitute it with apple cider vinegar, a cup of grated parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Butter. You're going to add your mushrooms and you're going to saute these until they are golden brown. Okay, for the ingredients I forgot to mention, you'll need three tablespoons of flour and you're going to need it at this point. Um, a lot of these are crispy on the edges, they're golden brown. I don't want to have them go too far, so I'm going to lower the heat. And I'm going to add the three tablespoons of flour. We're going to add the stock in, but I want to cook out some of this flour first, so I'm just going to stir it with the mushrooms. You basically are going to make a roux. I'm make sure I get this incorporated so that flour doesn't stay clumpy so we can thicken up the sauce. So at this point, now that it's starting to thicken, we're going to take this off the heat and we're going to add the sherry or, in my case, the apple cider vinegar. Now, I'm not going to put too much in because I don't want to put too much apple cider vinegar in. I like this taste, so I'm just going to go off taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with half a tablespoon, and then I'm going to taste it because I do not want to batch this up. Okay, I will do another half. And then I'm going to add the half and half in, which is a fourth a cup. Yes, I'm opening it weird <laughs> because I broke the tab to pull the thing off to open. So I have to open it this way. A fourth a cup of the half and half. And then I'm going to add the seasonings and then I'll taste it to see if I need any more apple cider vinegar. Salt, pepper, add the parsley in, the cheese in. Eighth of a teaspoon nutmeg. I love nutmeg and creamy things. If I make my own Alfredo sauce, I'll put a little nutmeg in. Mmm. I learned that trick from Rachel Ray when I first started cooking years and years and years ago and watching Rachel Ray's 30 minute meals. So I'm gonna taste this before I add the chicken and pasta in and make sure if, if I want more salt or anything else. So I have this grater and I'm just gonna grate some onion into that. So I've got all this onion right here that I'm just gonna add in. Oh, that's good. Oh, that Parmesan Reggiano is so rich. I'm gonna add more onion. It's really doing it for me, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, got my chicken, got my pasta. I'm gonna incorporate this as best as I can. I might need um, tongs. At this point, you will put it in the oven, a 350 degree oven, for about 30 minutes. But we are not at this point. At this point, we are going to put this in our freezable casserole pans. Chicken tetrazzini is done. For chicken parmesan casserole, you're gonna need four cups of shredded chicken, olive oil, salt, pepper, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, combination of basil, oregano, parsley chopped up, and a bottle of marinara sauce and some panko breadcrumbs. First thing you're gonna do is spray your pan. We're gonna layer the chicken at the bottom. Then we're gonna put the marinara sauce and we're gonna mix it with the chicken. Let's put this in. And they say about one jar, 28 ounces, so that's what this is. We're gonna dump the cheeses on it. So what I'm gonna do is since I have two different, I'm gonna kinda just do a layer upon layer. So I'll do a layer of mozzarella, okay, and then I'll do some of the Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> cheese, cheese. So in a bowl with the olive oil, one to two tablespoons. I hate that, one to two. What is it? What is it? One or two. And then all the herbs. Basically making a crust for the top. Ooh, so that's not good. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of the olive oil. So now there's the two tablespoons. Noticing what I'm used to mix. <laughs> How good and simple is this meal? 
completely kid friendly. We're done, so I'm gonna wrap this baby up. But when it's thawed, you put it in the oven, 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until golden on top and bubbling on the sides. For the white chicken enchilada bake, you're gonna need four chicken breasts cooked and cubed up, a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of diced green chilies, salt, pepper, garlic salt, a half cup of finely chopped or diced um, onion, and a container of sour cream. Those are the ingredients, and watch how simple this is. Again, I have my lovely juice container with my Ziploc bag in here. This recipe you're just gonna dump in and freeze, and then you're gonna need, which I don't have yet until Derek makes it, you're gonna need some other ingredients, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I'm gonna show you what the portion that you freeze right now. So what we're gonna do is add our chicken in. We are gonna add the onions in, add our can of cream of chicken, your sour cream, you're gonna need your diced chilies, salt, one fourth teaspoon black pepper, one half teaspoon of the garlic salt. Take your bag out and mix it up. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna put this in the freezer. I will have the recipe linked down below so you could read through it. But when it's time to bake, what you'll do, you're gonna have a package of tortilla chips and a 116 ounce bag of mixed, like Mexican blend cheese, so cheddar and Monterey Jack. And what you'll do is, um, you'll do like, you'll layer tortilla chips and then you'll layer the chicken sauce and then top with the cheese and then you'll bake it for 30 minutes. And then you could serve it with lettuce, tomato, salsa, avocado, or hot sauce. So Derek and the kids will love this one. And I'll have the recipe um, with this in the freezer. So he's like, what? Our next meal is Lazy Man lasagna. You're gonna need a box of noodles. Um, I have rigatoni here. Um, you need parsley, fresh or dried. About two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, an egg, about 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, and any spaghetti sauce you want to use. So I'm going to get my rigatoni in the pot of boiling water and start this. If you would like to know the step-by-steps of this recipe, there is a link below. I did make this for you guys once before. It's super easy. Just put all the cheeses together and the seasonings and the egg with the cheeses and mix it all together with the spaghetti sauce. It is so easy. So at this point, what you're gonna do is just make it pretty. I put more sauce on top. After I do that, I like to put more mozzarella cheese on top. With this recipe, you could do so much with it. I put in spinach in it. You could put sausage and hamburger crumbled up in this. There's so many ways of doing it. I'm just doing it simple for time's sake. Okay, so I have the cheese and I'm gonna add more parsley. Hey, and I'm gonna wrap it up and put the instructions on it for Derek. Um, they all have a post-it note on it so he knows how to cook them. So those are the meals. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't be afraid to do it. You'll be so glad you did when it's all said and done. We'll see you guys later, bye.